it's day six and I'm sitting here attached to the polar pack I think that's the street term for it for the cooling unit which is very helpful because it is comforting for the past couple days I have experienced a ton of pain um, some of it the pain medication has not actually been able to help <coughs> it's been extremely painful um, I was taking um, what is that stuff hmm I'm taking two narcotic med medications now. It, it actually helps, but it, the pain never seems to be completely gone away. Which, it's better to lower the pain than to not, than to, um, not be able to help the pain at all. So here's my cooling unit on the floor it's something that we're renting um, the we put in an order for it at our at the doctor's office and they delivered it to our house and of course we have to pay for it I have yet to find out whether insurance is going to cover any part of it. However, it's just something that we'll have to deal with, you know, if insurance doesn't cover it. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. My biggest concern is just that it helps. It's kind of complicated to hook up because it wraps all the way around my body, really. There's this strap that wraps around here and it is attached to the shoulder cuff and then there's one that wraps around the bicep and attaches that way and then there are these three hoses that circulate the cool air, I mean the cool water through to keep the area cold and to help with inflammation <clears throat> and it is comforting uh, when I was having the worst pain I contacted the doctor's office and you know to try to figure out what it was that I could do um, to help it and I was told oh well if you have a heating pad then that might be comforting, but they suggested that I not use it because, of course, heat could cause the area to swell. And so I knew that. I worked in hospitals for 22 years, and so that didn't make sense to me. But for me, it was just, you know, I was desperate and in so much pain. I was in so much pain that I actually was not able to sleep for more than 30 minutes at a time because I was waking up with these really cruel muscle spasms. I haven't had as many spasms today. It has been painful today and this is day six. But it's been bearable but still very painful. I would say my pain level is at about a seven today. <clears throat> but for the past couple of days it's been anywhere from 8 to 10 or and above which is extremely unpleasant because it's difficult to do anything or enjoy anything and I kind of feel like I've been sort of an asshole you know being kind of mean and it's not intentional it's just when you're in so much pain, and of course there's no excuse, 
But when you're in so much pain that you can't escape from it and you there's nothing that anybody can do about it you know it's just really difficult to function normally so <clears throat> I don't know what could have made things better because I was taking two Percocet in the beginning and um, it wasn't helping it was just making me feel high and feel like I wanted to eat everything that had sugar in it which is ridiculous because that wasn't the goal I didn't want to feel high and you know have the munchies I wanted the pain gone so I was feeling super high and still very very painful so they added the uh, Adorex, which I had never taken before, which makes me super sleepy. And but I think that when it's taken with the um, Percocet, when it's taken at the same time, then it does help. It does help with the pain. I started taking it originally. Um, you know, not at the same time, and it's supposed to enhance the, you know, um, the Percocet, but I didn't experience it helping at all until, until I took them both together, which my pain level is tolerable now. I have been able to get into the shower. And that is extremely difficult because, for one, don't drop the soap. Because if you drop the soap, you can't pick it up. Because any direction that you lean in, it feels like the arm is just going to fall off. And I'm supposed to just let my arm hang down when I'm in the shower. And it's extremely painful and it feels, it just feels wrong. So I kind of hold it tucked close to me when this sling is not on. This is kind of an elaborate deal here. It's got this block underneath. This ball is here, I guess, so that I can, you know, work my hand out. <clears throat> um, but it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. It's got a lot of moving parts or movable parts, which is fine if you know how to put it on properly and maybe I'll do a video taking it off the next time that I take it off um, just to show all of these moving parts there's this lovely waistband and everything's like attached and tucked with straps and yeah all of these deals but I'm happy that the pain is under control for now I'm trying to have a positive attitude because of course nobody heals properly if you have a bad attitude but it's difficult not to have a bad attitude when you're in extreme pain so I feel like I'm on an upswing my Post-op appointment is on Monday. Today is Thursday. So my post-op appointment is on Monday. And um, the stitches and steri strips are still in place on my shoulder. I have been washing it like I'm supposed to. And they said it's okay to wash it and to... You know, just let the water run over it and not to scrub and that kind of thing, which I've been doing. Everything is just painful. So no matter what I do, it really, everything's just going to be painful. But anyhow, we'll see where I am on um, Monday. And that'll be one week. And I still have, I'll still have five weeks to go 
because it's six weeks no movement at all and then after the sixth week then I start physical therapy so we will see